Do you think it's inevitable that we're going to see the Star Wars Force Awakens kind of treatment where we see the original cast come back for this? Or do you think that's something that's just too out there? Um, uh, at this point, I have no idea. I mean, it seems like it seems like the obvious thing to right. try and do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think Warner Brothers don't, as far as I'm aware, have any rights to the Cursed Child. It's an entirely separate piece of work. Um, it's yeah. It's not part. It's not part of the sort of the Wizarding World franchise, as it were. Um, that being said, it seems like the obvious place for it to go at some point in time. If they want to do it, if they want to do it with the original cast, they're going to have to get on and do it in the next five or so five or so years. I would say, I don't think they will, um, and I think it would be problematic for them to try because Cursed Child has taken such a left turn at the traffic lights in terms of. The sort of the vision, the vision and the imagery, and and well, the, let's be frank, the casting. I mean, you, there would be rightly so absolute carnage if they took a play that has purposefully cast Hermione as a black woman and put Emma Watson in the part. That that would that would be the wrong thing to do with Cursed Child because Cursed Child, as far as I'm, I haven't actually seen it. This is a very point or read it, um, but. You know, it's done. It's taken Harry Potter into the sort of into the current world. Yeah. Um. And you know, into the into the. It's modernized yeah, into, it a lot. The, it's it's really modernized it. it. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And I think I think taking it back a step is what would happen if you if you tried to film it using the original cast. I think. Um. But I'm also not a big fan of turning plays into films because i'm a theater lover as much as anything else and i'd much prefer people to go and see live theater where the magic happens in front of your eyes on stage and not through computer wizardry so yeah yeah and the track record isn't the greatest for when you see uh theater plays being translated into movies there are some great examples but for the most part it's usually pretty dodgy and it doesn't replicate the magic of these performers it doesn't the story no is. Yeah. i mean yeah, I mean, there's there's something magical about sitting in a chair in a room and everything happening right in front of your face. Whether it's, I mean, whether we're talking about Shakespeare or Pinter or, or you know, a musical whatever, like yeah. you know, Wicked or Hamilton or whatever, the fact that it all happens in this little box in front of you, and you can be anywhere in the world, and it's amazing. Where the cinema is wonderful and magical in a very different way, um, and it doesn't translate in the same way because you can snap from here to here to here to here with the you know with the flick of an edit um and it doesn't have the same it doesn't have the same effect so i think yeah i think it will probably it'll, i think it's almost inevitable that cursed child will become something other than just a live stage play whether that is you know a hamilton style disney plus stream on you know whatever it is hbo max or whatever it is that warner brothers yeah um whether it becomes you know a live a, essentially a live recording of the show or whether they try and translate it into a film who knows i think it's probably inevitable at some point 